CGTV and more specifically welcome back to a very 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 early start. I'm up for work and I thought what better thing to do than turn up to my office in my Lamborghini uh, and just rustle a lot of jimmies basically. So I'm taking the Lamborghini to work, I'm commuting to the city and I'm going to explain why that might not be the best idea. Some of you will know uh, if you work in the city already. But yeah, let's jump in and go rustle some jimmies. Okay, so some of you will realize that there's still stickers on here, so these are coming off. As much as I like this, LDNM, we'll have a little pop up on the screen. If you don't know about LDNM, you need to get to know about that, all right? As much as I like the stickers, I, I feel it makes me, me look like I'm driving someone else's kind of promotional car. It is my car. It's not a promotional tool, as such. So it's coming off. Coming off, it's coming off coming off. I might leave the little LDNM ones back on the back wing though, but these big ones on the front, I think it just spoils the look of the car in a way. So they're coming off mate, yeah! And if you don't know our winning touch as well, you need to also, also, get in the mix of that. Do you not, Ollie? Yep. Correct the mundo. So these are coming off. Not quite what I wanted to be doing at 6am on a work day, but here we are. Here we are. This is YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. The glamorous life of YouTube. And yeah, there's PPF, so don't whine at me about this. Uh, this one's going to be so much more of a fiddle. I don't, ugh. <laughs> Why are we doing this, mate? Don't know why you're giggling. You're going to be enlisted to help in a second. I haven't actually driven this car in about two weeks, maybe more. I've been a very busy bee, so I've not been around. But it started first time, so that is always a good start. So right now the car is still warming up. And with SVs particularly, the first few minutes before the car is fully warm, the valves stay completely shut. So there's this weird moment when you're driving around and suddenly all the valves open and it goes from sounding like, actually like a normal car right now, to just going boop. It's quite a cool moment. We'll try and catch it on camera, but it probably won't. It takes a while. That was a terrible impression as well. I enjoyed it, mate. You enjoyed it, did you? Yeah, With a, I like that. The little yeah, yeah. nose lift up again. Driving to work in a Lamborghini, here we go. Here we ruddy go. So, I didn't get far. Did not get far at all. Time for some fuel. Shell V-Power. How much today? Four quid? I'm splashing out, lad. I've had a very good week. We're doing 12 pounds, boy. There is method to this madness, not putting that much fuel in. So, the less fuel I have, the less of a wally I am in the car. If I have a full tank, I'm just like, ah, everywhere. If I have less fuel, then I'm kind of a bit more civilized, reserved, should we say. And also, I'm really thinking about the, the weight penalty of having a full tank. Second gear, please, thank you. I wondered where these were, and now I know I'm going to wear these all day in the office. That's that. Perfect. Oh. boy. Oh. 
So, so far then, so good. I mean, it's been slightly slow. There's not really been a huge amount of traffic. But why is driving to work such a big thing in, in the city? I mean, because some of you out of town and abroad will be thinking, so what, he's just driving around in the Lamborghini. He always does that, sitting in traffic. Um, well, what some of you will not know is that London, the city of London anywhere, where all the, like, the, the banks and stuff are, of which I work in one, as I gnaws on about. Sorry, just trying to navigate one earth I'm going without killing a cyclist. Um, so yeah, in the city of London, it's actually very expensive. Basically, the Transport for London, the Mayor of London, they do not want you driving into the city. They don't want people driving to work. They do everything they can to stop you from driving to work. So a lot of the roads in the city, um, you can't drive through in cars. They're all kind of pedestrianized now. And there's a big junction at Bank, which will mean nothing to a lot of you. Uh, but the main junction in the middle of the city now is pedestrianized. Uh, and what's more, more importantly than that, there's a congestion charge. So that is about 14 pounds a day to drive your car into London. They've got cameras all around the perimeter of um, kind of the, the important bit of London, uh, important kind of work-wise and traffic-wise that will clock you coming in. Uh, they won't clock you if you don't have a front plate, but more on that another time. So, 14 pounds a day, and also parking to park by my office. There is actually a small car park, uh, and there's also parking under my office as well. If I have to use a small car park, it's about 35 pounds for the day. So if you think about it, 14 plus 35, plus probably about 15, 20 quid's worth of fuel to drive in. Um, yeah, you're looking at 50, 60 quid a day just to drive to work. The equivalent train journey would be about seven or eight pounds, I think. Time-wise, driving to work, it'll take me about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and on the train, door to door, like using the stations and the tubes and whatever, um, door to desk, should I say, it's about 45 minutes as well. So the timing-wise, it's about the same. So really, driving to work is actually a very, very stupid thing to do. And also, driving to work means I can't do any work I can't do any of my emails I can't really do anything I'm just sat here like a lemon in traffic but every now and again it is fun so a little bit of background why doing this is particularly stupid and also it's just really really busy really tight the car park as you'll see that I'm probably going to use today I'm not going to use the one in my office because I don't want to show you swines where my office is it's very very tight and I'm already a little bit sweaty thinking about trying to get that car in the car park. Uh, Ollie, you're guiding me in, by the way. Splendid. Splendid, mate, and filming as well. Good. Yeah, I'm so, so we'll see how that goes. I mean, if I scrape it, then it'll already be in the title. Uh, I scrape my Lamborghini or something like that, so um, you'll probably know by now whether or not I actually damaged the car, but yeah. So we are coming over Blackfriars Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. We have St Paul's Cathedral there. And then the rest of the city kind of skyline is over there. And any of you that follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, it's the same handle, it's on the screen, will recognize this view from my uh, dalliances into the city before in varying high powered vehicles. Okay, so I'm at work. Well, not literally, I'm actually quite a while from my office and I'm not gonna attend the multi-story car park because I found a spot in the street which is a lot more vicious. It annoys a lot more people um, walking past and whatnot. It's a lot more visible and uh, confrontational, so I'm gonna leave it here. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go and do some work now. It's still very early in the morning. Ollie, you've got a day of work ahead of you as well. Have, have you not? Yes, Got to edit this rubbish as well. Yeah. Uh, and that is that. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this sort of video and I will see you again very soon. Bye.